evening, everybody. We'd like to welcome everybody here to the 38th Annual Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame. 38 years, 1976 was the very first year this Hall of Fame started. And we have uh, two people that was on the original committee here this evening from that 1976 committee. And I'd like to introduce them. Uh, Gino Paroli, everybody knows him. So Andy Nuzzo, longtime writer for the Beaver County Times. They were a part of about, I think it was like 20 people that got this thing started and it's really blossomed along the way to where we feel it's one of the, the better Hall of Fame banquets in the state of Pennsylvania. At least that's the way we look at it from our committee standpoint. Uh, we have a lot of things to go over tonight. We have past inductees to, to introduce. We have some outstanding young student athletes at college and high school level that you'll meet. But our main focus is the, the 10 inductees in the class of 2013. We have some outstanding people going in once again this year. And this represents the best of what Beaver County has to offer. And they do it through their efforts in sports, but they're also just classy, classy people. But, so get the ball rolling, get everything started. I'm going to introduce our master of ceremonies. This guy is a Hall of Fame inductee himself. In fact, just last year, he also got inducted into the Robert Morris University Hall of Fame. He's been a play-by-play -play man for the football and basketball teams for the Colonials for over 25, 26 years. He's won three AIR awards in Pittsburgh, which is achievements in radio. He's the only person in the Pittsburgh market to have achieved that. And that's and that was from three different sports. It was uh, football, college football, college basketball, and also professional soccer. And last night he was busy doing a Pittsburgh Passion women's football team. So he keeps pretty busy. Chris is also the president of the Lincoln Park Performing Charter School, Performing Arts Charter School down in Midden, his beloved hometown. And he's also a graduate of Westminster College, and he's really happy tonight that Jan Redinger is going in because, of course, she's tearing up on the scene up there at Westminster as a college softball coach. And I understand they're going to win another championship this year. Of course, Toby James, too, another Western, uh, Westminster grad over there, and he'll be with me and him pretty soon also. But here's our, our 2006 inductee into the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame, and and our actually I wanted to also say he's been play by play announcer for Comcast and Xfinity Sports in Pittsburgh. I'm sorry, he does so much stuff I can't get it all in. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Shuffle. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Good evening. Actually, good afternoon. The sun's out all of a sudden after it rained on everybody coming in today, but it's. It's a beautiful day because we're here to celebrate sports in Beaver County. We celebrate our sports history tonight as we gather each and every year at this time, and we welcome 10 new members into our Hall of Fame, and they join so many other greats, great players, great coaches, great administrators, promoters, and boosters. The 2013 class has a varied set of origins, all with two common denominators. A, they're Beaver County kids, and B, they are all champions. Our hall has a broad and strong foundation forged from a number of different levels, from cinder tracks to the Olympics, backyard ballparks to the World Series, driveway courts to the Final Four, and sand lots to the Super Bowl. That's the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame. Now I'll ask you to turn your attention to the staircase as I have the privilege and honor of introducing you to the 2013 class. He excelled in basketball and helped lead his Midland Leopards to two section championships. Top scorer as a junior and senior, first team all Beaver County, second team all WPIAL. As a senior, our first inductee, Tony Hooks Bedardi, scored a that school record 33 points in the game. And there's Tony. Hooks also lettered twice in baseball and continued as a two-sport standout at Geneva College, earning four letters in basketball and four in baseball. He played on two state championship teams and two others that finished as runners-up. As a senior, Hooks captained the Cubbies and averaged 14 and a half points a game. He was also team captain in baseball, batting 396 during his senior campaign on a team that was the state runner-up. 
Tony was named one of the Geneva's top 50 all-time players. In the Army in France, Hooks played and was named Coach of the Year in 1960 after leading his team to the All-Army European Finals. Tony then spent 13 seasons as head coach and 24 years as athletic director at Shannock Valley High School. He won 197 games and four section titles. He was named Indiana Area and Section Coach of the Year four times. Hooks finished his coaching career as an assistant at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. He was on the staff during the 1968-69 season when IUP went 22-2, the best record in school history. In 74, IUP reached the NAIA's Elite Eight. From Midland and Geneva College, Tony Hooks Bernardi. For parts of five decades, our next inductee has covered sports on the high school, college, and professional levels, mostly for the Beaver County Times. But before he was a writer, Mike Byers was a football star and baseball player at Hopewell High School right down the street. There's Mike on the staircase now. played baseball, then it was on to IUP where he played a year of football before covering the team for the student paper. Byers landed a part-time job with the Times and became sports editor at the Coriopolis Record. He spent time with the Washington Observer Reporter before the Times brought him back in 1980 for a full-time gig that he's held for going on 33 years. He's enjoyed a number of beats from local high school sports to Pitt Panther football and basketball to the Pittsburgh Steelers. One of his favorites, though, is the local golf page that he coordinates from spring to fall. Through his printed words, Mike Byers has taken us to a multitude of WPIAL and PIAA championship venues, the Big East and the NCAA tournament, PGA and LPGA tour events, including three U.S. Opens, World Championship boxing matches, and seven Super Bowls. Mike has won a bevy of individual national and regional awards, but more important to him were those that he shared with the Times sports staff, including when they were named the best in the nation at their level. From Hopewell, Beaver County Times sports writer, Mike Byers. Way to go, OJ. I'm telling you, you're proud here tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next inductee is a four-time All-American, leaving his mark on the field and in the classroom. Ed Hudak is the only Lafayette Leopard to gain such distinction. Here comes Ed. Let's welcome him in tonight. During his senior season, he helped lead the Leopards to an 8-3 mark in the Patriot League Championship. Ed was a three-year letter winner. Lafayette topped the Patriot League in total offense and scoring offense in 1992, and the Leopards led the league in rushing offense in both his junior and senior seasons. Talk about paving the way. Hudak, a 6'3", 270-pound at that time. <laughs> you changed a little bit. Lineman was instrumental in opening lanes for the running game, and he supported a wall for the passing attack so the Leopards could win two Patriot League football championships during his time there. Hudak started 30 three consecutive games for Lafayette and graduated as the most decorated player in Leopards history. In 2005, he was inducted into the Maroon Club, the school's athletic hall of fame. Prior to his outstanding college career, Ed was a star on the line for Joe Hamilton at Black Hawk High School. At all-conference selection, he was a KDKA Extra Effort Award winner for his athletic and academic achievements. He played in the Penn, Ohio game, the all-star game in high school. From Black Hawk and Lafayette, Ed Hudak. Now let me take you back to the 1952 WPIAL championship game. Midland's Mike Karras fielded a punt and began a breathtaking run that resulted in a touchdown 79 yards later. He ran into history. That score helped Midland capture its first ever WPIL championship. And to this night, Mike's teammates, many of whom are here, can still point to the blade of grass on the 21-yard line at Dormont Stadium where Karras began his fateful stride into sports legend. 
Tonight, his cousin, Joseph Bayich, is completing Mike's run into the Hall of Fame. And here's Joseph coming into the room now. Mike played one year of football at West Virginia, then transferred to Geneva College, where in his first season he completed 52% of his passes, led the Cubbies in total scoring, was named honorable mention Little All-American, and to the NAIA first team. The tragedy struck first in July 1956, when Mike was hit by a truck that broke his pelvis in four places while he was doing construction work near Midland. Many thought his sports career had come to an end, but Mike, despite being bedridden for months, regained his health, strength, and agility, and returned to Geneva after missing a full season of football. In 1957, Mike Karras surprised both the physicians and the fans by scoring seven touchdowns and gaining 453 yards rushing while passing for three TDs on just 12 attempts in his comeback. He also averaged 37 yards per punt. Karras was preparing to complete his studies in his final year of eligibility on the Hill in 1958 when he was tragically killed in a car crash. Tonight, Mike reaches the goal line again. From Midland and Geneva College, the comeback kid, Mike Karras. Our next inductee hails from Ambridge, but he and his high school sweetheart have been living in Kansas for more than 70 years. Now, Chet Laney isn't here tonight, but let's uh, bear with me for just a second. We will hear from him a little bit later, by the way, through the magic of, uh, I don't know, we have some magic for me. Anyway, during that time, Chet, who is no better as Chet Laney, truly made his mark in athletics, officiating, coaching, and teaching. He officiated in six major bowl games, the Orange, Sugar, Cotton, Gator, and Liberty Bowls. Well, the highlight of his nearly 40 years in stripes was his being on the officiating crew of one of the greatest games in college football history, the 1971 battle between Nebraska and Oklahoma, the so-called game of the century. In the 1971 season, Chet officiated games involving eight of the top ten teams in the country. He worked one game between Michigan and Colorado in front of 105,000 fans. Imagine being the referee in that game. Chet also officiated three NCAA Division II National College Championships. In his real job, Chet was actually a longtime educator and coach who taught phys ed at Topeka High School. He led the campaign to build an auditorium and coached two state championship swimming teams. The Bull and Jim are now named for him. Chet also coached state championship teams in golf and coached football, basketball, and track. And Chet was a three-sport star at Ambridge, had football offers from a bevy of schools around the country. After serving in World War II, he played at the University of Kansas, where he remains to this night. We'll hear from Chet from his home in Topeka later on tonight. Chet Laney, our next inductee from Ambridge, and the Kansas Jayhawks. All right, let's turn your attention back to the stairwell again because we have Troy Nesmith making his way in the room. Now, when he was a freshman, when he was a freshman at the Great Awards Academy, people knew he was going to be a special player. He averaged 20 points per game. His success continued after his transfer to Beaver Falls, where Troy Nesmith was all sectioned in his junior and senior seasons, and here he is right now. He averaged over 15 points and 6 assists. He finished his high school career by earning section most valuable player honors by averaging 22 points, 12 boards, and 6 dimes a game. Troy played in the round ball classic, then moved on to Geneva College, becoming a third-team All-American as a freshman. He was first-team All-American in his sophomore year. Troy then transferred to Gannon University, and twice more he was named to the All-American team in both athletics and academics. As a senior, Troy was named the NCAA Division II Player of the Year. He played in the NABC All-Star Game and won three, the three-point shootout in that contest. Troy played professionally here in the U.S. for Minot and Youngstown, then went to Europe and played in France for ten full seasons. In his second year, Troy's team won a championship. Then he stepped up to the next level and won another title in France. From Beaver Falls, Geneva College, and Gannon University, basketball star Troy Nesmith. This next inductee excelled in baseball, basketball, and football. The most outstanding athlete at Springdale High School. His passion was basketball, and Joe Petruni was known by a couple of nicknames. One of them, the Dynamo Spark Plug. The other, the Roadrunner. Then they called him Mr. Defense. There's Joe in the staircase now. Let's welcome him into the Hall of Fame.
Joe was a pretty good letter winner who started every game. Team captain, first team all section, played in the JC's All-Star Game and was recognized by the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette as one of the top 24 players in the WPIAL. At Geneva, Joe was a four-year letterman, team captain, and just like in high school, he led the team in assists. Petruni was named one of the top 50 men's basketball players in Geneva College history. He taught and coached at Hopewell, but after only one season, at the age of 23, he was named the head basketball coach at the Community College of Beaver County. Still a competitor, he took up tennis just one year later and went on to win six Beaver County tennis titles. For a quarter of a century, Joe taught tennis. Many of the students became number one at their respective high schools. Along with Glenn Cahey, Joe was instrumental in getting Beaver County's indoor tennis facility, the bubble that Brady's Run Park established. From Springdale, Geneva, and the sport of tennis, Joe Petruni. The next new member of the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame left an indelible mark on several local high schools, most certainly at his alma mater, Beaver Falls, and in New Brighton. And Dave Papilski won WPIL and PIAA championships as both a player and coach of the Fighting Tigers and captured another crown as coach of the Lions. Tonight, Dave's son, Andy Papilski, accepts the award for his father. Here's Coach Andy Papilski. Dave was a guard on the 1970 Beaver Falls Championship team. Following his graduation from Penn State in 1976, he was named head coach at New Brighton. He led the Lions to the WPIL title in 1980. In that game, Hal Bentley, who's also in this Hall of Fame, scored a WPIL championship record 40 points. Coach Pod's greatest success came at Beaver Falls, where in 1994, he and the Tigers won WPIL and PIAA crowns. The district championship game that year is considered one of the greatest in history. Beaver Falls beat rival Blackhawk when the Tigers' Troy Sheets made a three-pointer at the buzzer at the end of the second overtime for a thrilling 63-60 win. In 1996, Dave moved on to Class Quad A Seneca Valley where he coached Andy. Together, they helped the Raiders into the WPIL playoffs in their first season. Coach Pod had 250 career victories at the time of his sudden passing. He was only 48. Tonight, we remember Dave Pabilski. He reaches another career milestone. He enters the Hall of Fame. Andy, thanks for being here tonight. Our next inductee won her 400th career game as coach of the Westminster Titans softball team in 2011. That's an average of 23 wins per season. A perennial playoff contender, Westminster has enjoyed seven postseason appearances and has won conference titles in 1997, 98, and 2005 under head coach Jan Rediger, who makes her way down the staircase now. led Westminster to its first President's Athletic Conference title in 2005 while also piloting the team's postseason appearances in the ECAC Division III South Championships in 2005 and 2007. Redinger was also named Pack Coach of the Year in 2007. In her first and second seasons at the helm, Jan led the Titans to conference and district crowns, including a trip to the NAIA Northeast Regional Tournament in 1998. Redinger's 2001 team also qualified for the ECAC Division III playoffs after setting team records for 32 wins, including 17 in a row. She is also an instructor in the Phys Ed Department of Westminster. She was an assistant soccer coach and head women's basketball coach for four years. Before arriving in New Wilmington, Rediger was head softball coach and assistant basketball coach at La Roche, where in 1993 the softball team won its first conference championship for any sport in school history. Big stuff there. And Hopewell Jam was a four-year all-section starter in both basketball and softball. She was then a standout in both sports at Penn State Beaver, finished her career at West Liberty. Ladies and gentlemen, the head softball coach of the Westminster Titans, Hopewell, Jan Rediger. Our final inductee this afternoon has enjoyed a stellar career in athletics, coaching, teaching, and administration. He has spent his career and his life bettering his hometown and its school district. He won two letters and was named honorable mention all section three at Aliquippa, but at Missouri Southern State College, John Thomas blossomed into a star.
Friends, he started four straight years, never missed a game, held school records for season rebounding average, a remarkable 16.2 boards per game. He has a rebound uh, record in a, se in a season and career, 1,536 in all. John also scored a career total of 1,719 points and was named NAIA All-American each of the years that he played there. Missouri Southern State won their district in his last two seasons and advanced to the NAIA National Tournament both years. In 1973, John Thomas was drafted in the ninth round by the NBA's Houston Rockets. He instead embarked on a 35-year career in education back here in his hometown that saw him move from the classroom into administration. John became the superintendent of schools in the Aliquippa District. John also coached track and was Red McNeese top assistant in basketball. From Aliquippa and Missouri Southern State College, John Thomas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 2013 class of the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame. the dais tonight is our Dick Cadis Award winner, Ben Ronning from Blackhawk High School, who will be seated with us. And now I'll ask everybody to please rise for our invocation and our Pledge of Allegiance. Presenting our invocation this evening is a 1991 inductee into our Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame, a fabulous community leader who served in the Beaver County judicial system. He's one of the all-time great multi-sports athletes from Beaver Falls and Westminster College. His honor, Judge George Tookie James. Let us bow our heads at this time. Merciful Father, we come right now in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. God, you said in your holy word, give honor to whom honor is due. God, we are assembled tonight for that very purpose. God, we pray that you move by your spirit in our midst tonight and that you get the glory out of this occasion. Bless this Hall of Fame committee and undergird the committee and cause them to move forward as they've done so well in the past to do even better in the future. Bless them, Lord, and continue to bless them to be a greater blessing in this community. Now, Lord, shortly we will be served a meal. God, we pray your blessing upon the meal. Bless the hands that labored for it and the hands that prepared it. Cause this food to strengthen our bodies so that we may render it back in service to thee in the blessed, matchless, unfailing, uncompromising name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. We pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Judge James. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Enjoy dinner. Our first order of business tonight is to introduce you to a number of our past inductees and uh, typically uh, we go around the room and have everybody stand and uh, be applauded. And so I want to start off by saluting uh, the four newest members, four of the newest members of the WPIL Hall of Fame. They're going to be inducted in the WPIL Hall of Fame uh, this coming June. And I'd like Jack Pullen and Donna Ritchie to stand. I know they're in the building here tonight. Congratulations on your upcoming induction into the WPIL Hall of Fame. Two other Beaver Countyans will be joining them. Sean Gilbert, the NFL star, and U.S. Olympian Krista Harmato from Hopewell will be joining them in the WPI Hall of Fame this year. Now let's go around the room and introduce you to our cast inductees. You already met this one gentleman, his honor Judge 
George James, 1991 inductee, all-around star from Beaver Falls and the Westminster Titans. From the class of 1997, Alan Quickman football fame, Don Stala is here as always. Don, good to see you. Coach Joe Yersina, 2004 inductee, the Brighton High School Coach and Athletic Director. Beaver Bobcats, former head football coach, and now assistant Hopewell Viking football coach, Pat Tarquinio from the class of 1982. From 93.7, the fan at the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette last year, he was inducted Ron Cook. Where's Benny? You didn't bring Benny? He won't buy his own ticket, will he? From the class of 2003, Geneva basketball star, Penn State University administrator, Dr. Don Sheffield is with us here tonight. <laughs> From the class of 1991, former Manaka, head basketball coach and a member of the Geneva team, Sano Pritchard. <laughs> from the class of 1988, state championship high school basketball coach from the Beaver Falls Fighting Tigers, Frank Chan. Just add Donna Ritchie stand, she will stand again. 1992 inductee, Alec Hookwell, women's basketball coach, Donna Ritchie. Congratulations again, folks. Also one of our inductees from the last year, the former sports editor of the Beaver County Times, from the journalism uh, uh, chapter of our uh, Hall of Fame, Ed Rose. Jack Pullen from 1996, Black Dock High School Athletic Director, Longtime Administrator, again, getting into the WPIL Hall of Fame. From the Purdue Boilermakers, class of 2006, Beaver High School coach, Ed Sticker. Longtime official, one of the fairest guys you'll ever see, 2012 inductee, Ron Lefty Dionisio. From Manaka High School, longtime basketball coach and baseball coach, Dave Dickel, part of our committee. From the class of 1986 and the Iowa Hawkeyes, basketball star from Alabama, Jack Calabria. Jack is a member of our committee, our treasurer. From the class of 2009, Penn State University and Midland football fullback and star Matt Yanisich is here tonight. Matt, good to see you. From the class of 2012, Center High School, coach, administrator, Sarge Alberts. Always great to see Sarge. From the class of 1995, state champion, Alabama boys basketball coach, Red McNee. From the class of 1986, one of the dominant big men in his day, one of the first to dunk in Beaver County, Midland and Geneva basketball star, Stan Upeka. From the class of 2008, fellow WBVPer Bob Barrickman is here with us tonight. Bob. From the class of 2007, Riverside State Baseball Championship coach Dan Oliastro. I think I'm about to in introduce everybody in the room tonight. We have a lot of former inductees here. From the class of 1990, football coach Joe Hamilton of the Blackhawk Cougars, WBIL champion. From the class of 2011, Riverside softball coach Pam McCarty. From the induction class of 2001, Quigley High School coach and athletic director and administrator Ed Driscoll. From the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame class of 2005, the Brighton native and Geneva football coach and administrator Gino DeMarco. From the class of 2001, from Indiana University of Pennsylvania, coach and administrator, Ruth Podbilski. <laughs> from the class of 2002, from Hopewell and the world of golf, Judy Bigley Renner. Judy Renner. 2007, Beaver Falls and Louisville Cardinal football star, and Judge Rick Mancini.
And those are our past inductees, and thank you all for coming. If we missed anybody, if you didn't sign in at the door tonight, just let me know, and we'll make sure you get recognized. Now let's start off uh, our program tonight introducing you to the championship coaches and each year we welcome and recognize our area high school and college coaches who have won titles. I'd like to have each one of them step forward to accept our congratulations and their award here tonight. First of all, from Penn State University's Beaver Campus, Coach Tim Moore. So Tim will come forward. Penn State Beaver won the 2012-13 PSUAC Women's Basketball Championship. Folks, congratulations to you. Also, Andy Kirchner from Penn State Beaver. 2012 PS UAC Women's Softball Champions. Congratulations to Coach Kirchner. From the Community College of Beaver County, Dwayne Walker. The Titans won the 2012-13 Men's WPCC Basketball Championship. And from Geneva College, Coach Van Zanuck is here with us tonight. Van and the Golden Tornadoes won the 2012 PAC Women's Softball Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in saluting all of our college coaches for their titles this year. Now let's move on to the high school coaches. I'd like to introduce to you Hall of Famer Bob Amelia from the Black Dog Cougars, 2012 WBIL Class AAA Baseball Champions. Not sure if Bob is here tonight, but uh, we will get him his award. Also, Glenn Freed from the Ambridge Bridgers couldn't make it tonight. They won the 2012 WBIL Class AA Boys Volleyball Championship. Hall of Famer Dan Oliastro from the Riverside Panthers. I know you're here tonight. 2012 PIAA Class AA State Baseball Champions again. Hall of Famer Mike Smianek of the Alacoop Equips. 2012 WPIO Class AA Football Champions. And here comes Mike. From the Riverside Panthers, Ben Hoop is not here tonight either. They won the 2012 WPIO Boys Class A Soccer Championship. Larry Milos couldn't make it tonight. He uh, coached a couple of titles, but his assistant coach, Aurelio Bianco, is here tonight. Larry Milos uh, led the Central Valley Warriors to the 2012 WPIO and PIOA State Class AA Girls Golf Championship. Nicole Baker from the Hopewell Vikings, 2012-13 WPIL Class AA Competitive Cheering Champions. And finally, for the Beaver Falls Fighting Tigers, Coach Doug Viega, winners of the 2013 WPIL and PIAA State Class AA Boys Basketball Championship. And again, ladies and gentlemen, join me in saluting all of our high school champions this year. Great year here in the Valley.